What's up guys? I got another box from Aqua SD. This time I won it in Anemone and it was $35 but since I'm paying $25 for next day shipping here in California I decided to add a bunch of other a bunch of other coral and Johnson he also ordered a Recordia mushroom so here's an open box I already have an anemone uh, rose tip one in the tank if you watched my previous video and I added one clown but since I saw that rose tip in my tank it looks so nice that I wanted to try out a different color so I got this green one uh -oh. oh upper side is wet Or if it's just condensation. They were I see the anemone, it does not look green. It looks freaking white. You guys can see that. And I bought some sticks. Let's see what I got. Oh, A sweet posili, a blue mammoth acro, a clear nuclear, not a nuclear candlelight, a pink berry Pikachu, <laughs> all these names. Um, the bubble tip anemone, they said it was green but it looks white to me, and the uh, mushroom for Johnson. I'm gonna get these into the tank and then see how they go. Here's the green bubble tip anemone. I was kind of worried there for a bit um, because when I took it out of the box, it was pretty white and pale. I thought it was dead or they shipped me the, the wrong one, but under the lights, it's for sure green. I have him under this or inside this breeder box for now because I was expecting a Refrax Anemone Bowl. The bowl looks like this. It has a spot for the anemone to kind of latch on and grab. And I have it on order. I thought it would be coming today, but it's not. It's coming tomorrow. So as a one day temporary solution, I have this anemone in the breeder box for now because I don't want to release him into this tank and having him attach anywhere on this rack or even on this rock and having to put in extra work on getting him to release his foot. So I have him in here. So when the bowl comes, I can just easily place him into the bowl and I'm thinking about putting the bowl right here on this side but for now, it's in the breeder box and I'm thinking about somehow grabbing these clowns and putting them into this breeder box so they can host the anemone. The whole tank is looking good to me. I love all of the colors and I love how everything glows when the, the blue lights are on. These guys up front, they're mushrooms, um, recordias. This guy right here is a hammer. I like it because of the two colors. Um, it's purple tips and then the stems are um, nuclear green. This guy right here is uh, octospawn. I have two torches right here. It's a black torch and a green one in back. Another hammer on the side right here and I have some zinnias they don't pick up too well with the camera but they pulse I have an empty plug in between hoping they would just 
expand and grow some more on top of the third plug. I have some zoas, some of which are not open and some are open. The plugs are disgusting. They got a bunch of algae on them. I'll fix that later on. But the one in the center right there is a it looks like a potted flower. It's a alveopora. This super bright green one is a candy cane. More zoas. This furry one I just got recently. It was only ten dollars. It's a picoli or something like that. One in back is a Duncan. And up top right here, I just got that one today. The pink one right in the center. It's a Pikachu Acropora. Right next to it is a... The green bright one is a Candlelight Acropora. In back, the purple you see is a purple hammer. In front and center, it's a bird's nest. In back, the big substantial piece, I got that in the package today. It's a blue mammoth acro. This purple one with the glowing tips. It's a Pac-Man acro. So I got this green one right here. I forgot what name it has it's like green hulk or something like that it's a an acro super bright green one in the center is a nuclear bird's nest and i got another acro right next to him and in front this fuzzy one is a bird's nest bird's nest bird's nest and then back the flower potted one it, that's an Alveopora and I got a frog spawn to the right and in back of that is another hammer everything's looking awesome just wanted to give you guys a last top-down view before I close this out thank you guys for subscribing commenting and liking the videos um, if you have any questions with this tank or anything I do, um, leave a comment down below and I'll get, I'll get them answered. For those that are new here, please consider subscribing. Thanks and goodbye.